Joker here. Wanna know how I got these scores? My father was a drinker and a fiend. And one night he goes crazier than usual. He said, Why so serious? Anyways, <laughs> hello everyone, it's me again, it's HorrorFan34, and welcome back to another video. And happy Halloween to all of you out there. Uh, it's about, almost about 5 o'clock. Uh, trick or treaters will be coming out very soon, so I figured I'd get this review out a little before <clears throat> I start handing candy out for trick or treaters. But, uh, uh, welcome back, and I can't believe this is the last day of this challenge. It's the last day of 31 Days of Horror Challenge in October. Uh, once again, just like last year, I had a lot of fun doing this. Had a lot of fun doing this challenge once again this year, just like last year. And I, w I was the Joker last year for Halloween, so I figured I'd do another uh, Halloween Day review with the costume one. Uh, you can tell I'm Joker from The Dark Knight. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the last review of this challenge, and I um, want to give a shout out to Horrific Nightmares JM Jason for this challenge. Uh, it was really a pleasure participating in this challenge once again, and things like that. So I really do thank you, Jason, for having me participate in this challenge. <clears throat> <clears throat> now that we are getting on to the final review for the challenge, I figured this would be a really good one to finish off with. It's a horror remake from 1999, and that is going to be on House on Haunted Hill. Now, House on Haunted Hill was a film that was released in 1999, directed by William Malone, who I believe this was the same guy that did Fear.com, I believe, which I not, wasn't too big on that movie. Um, but I really do enjoy this movie. Uh... Now, of course, it's a remake of, a, uh, of the 50s one by Vincent Price. Now, I have actually have seen the original Vincent Price, and it's a really good one from the 50s. Um, this one, though, is a lot more different, though, a little bit than the original Vincent Price movie. Now, the basic idea with the film is that basically in the opening, you have Jeffrey Combs, reanimator himself, who plays this insane doctor who was a doctor who was working on these patients, and then they went crazy and they killed everybody. And then many years later, um, uh, there's parties being hosted at this place that used to be the, the asylum that he worked in. And uh, the, the hosts of the... Of the uh, basically, this is what it says right here. It says um, uh, on the back, after many years later, um, basically, you have these two people uh, hosting the party, played by Jeffrey Rush and Fonke Johnson. Now, what's funny enough is that Jeffrey Rush's character plays Stephen Price, which I would have to say is a nod to Vincent Price. And even he has the Vincent Price look, you know, with the mustache and things like that. That's what basically, that was like the trademark that Vincent Price had was that, like, that mustache. And his name is Price. And basically, him and his wife, who absolutely hate each other and they have really fun back and forth with each other, they're hosting this party that where the insane asylum used to be in and they invite all these people and the people they invite you have Tay Diggs uh, you have Allie Larder who was in Final Destination 1 and 2 you have Brigitte Wilson who was Sonya Blade in Mortal Kombat she was also in Billy Madison uh, Peter Gallagher who was in a really underrated movie called Mother's Boys with him and Jamie Lee Curtis and you also have <coughs> excuse me then you also have Chris Catan from SNL, Night of the Roxbury, Corky Romano, and things like that. And, you know, and it's also, this was produced by Robert Zemeckis and Joel Silver, which was around this time they were producing a lot of movies. They produced, I believe, Ghost Ship and this movie and 13 Ghosts and things like that. But I think, I don't know if William Malone... Maybe he didn't do that. I don't remember for sure. Like I know he, I think he directed the uh, Fear.com, I believe. But um, but this movie is, I think it's a really well done remake. Um, I I do like it better than the 1999 remake of The Haunting, even though I do think that's a pretty decent movie myself. I feel like this is a, a little bit better because it's R rated, 
and I, the cast does a really good, good, great job. Jeffrey Rush and Fomke Johnson have really fun back and forth. They're like these people that just hate each other. I like Tay Diggs, Ali Larder, Brigitte Wilson, Peter Gallagher, and Chris Catan. Chris Catan, I thought was really funny in the movie. And like, and he'd be saying like a lot of stuff that many people would be saying. You know, what's like, you know, there's a point in the movie where he says, "Listen, the house is pissed." So, you know, Chris Catan does have some funny lines of dialogue once in a while. I'm just checking the time on the clock. But, um, yeah, but this movie is really, really well done. I will admit, though, like, toward in the finale, like, there's a little, there's a couple special effects, like, a little bit kind of CGI looking, like, the black ghost, CGI looking mist ghost doesn't really look the best. Um, so I, I think that could have been done a little bit better, like, the effects, but... That's really, like, one of the only knocks I have against the movie, is, like, I think some of the special effects could have been a little bit better in the end. But still, this is a highly entertaining movie. I like the setting. It was really cool to see, like, people like Jeffrey Combs in the very beginning. Like, Jeffrey Combs is a legend in horror. It was just cool to see Je uh, Jeffrey Combs. And, and on top of that, too, the Screen Factory Blu-ray is the original poster art. And it says... Six strangers have the chance to make one million dollars each. All they have to do is make it through the night alive. And you can see some of the people in the red hand. Um, I, I tell you about the like the best character, like I say in the movie, is Chris, out of like the guest members is Chris Catan because I just think he's really entertaining, and really funny. Uh, and overall, it's a really highly entertaining remake. It's bloody. It's got some nice bits of gore. Um, nice creepy aspects in the movie. I like the cast. Uh, very solid direction by William Malone. I like the musical score by Don Davis. And overall, it's a really highly entertaining movie, and I highly recommend you check out House on Haunted Hill. But, um, that is, that's it. That's the end of the marathon. So, thank you guys very much for watching this horror marathon of reviews for the 31 Days of Ch Horror Challenge. Uh, stay tuned for more videos coming up soon. So, and maybe we'll do with maybe uh, we'll do the Thanksgiving challenge or the Christmas challenge like we did last year. So let's hope we do that too because these are really fun to do. So, anyways, and I also have a Throw Me Thursdays video for you guys as well. So, stay tuned for that. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. You guys take care, and happy and happy Halloween, everybody.